So I'll start my walk today at the Fairman Inn. From the Fairman Inn. Old willow trees leaning over there. Northmore Weir and Northmore Lock. Way to, way to the left and Lock straight in front. Northmore Lock, one set of gates. Appleton stores. How many boats do you have through here in a day? It's seasonal mate, so we've just had a very quiet hour, but the hour before that, they were up, down, up, down, up, down. Right, right. In the height of summer, it can be dozens and dozens and dozens, and in the middle of winter, it can be practically none. Right. And you're the lock keeper, are you? I am the lock keeper, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, pleased to meet you. <laughs> Looking along river towards Newbridge. Very salubrious looking face across the river there. So this is a wooden bridge, but I don't need to cross it.
this is one of the many pillboxes erected along here at the start of the Second World War. Just a few spots of rain here. That is Newbridge. It's called Newbridge, but in fact it's one of the oldest bridges on the Thames, dating from around 1250. So this is the Rose Revived at Newbridge. And their extensive array of picnic tables. very confusing. The Thames path is through there, through the garden of the Maybush, but it's not signed. Newbridge from the western side. And the Thames path is through that entrance there. YouTube tomorrow. This is the wooden bridge that I need to go across to get back to the north side of the river. The Thames is considerably narrower here. And the noise there's a water rushing over the weir, away to my left.
So I'm now on the bridge over the weir. Walking towards the lock keeper's cottage. Shifford lock. And I understand I've got to cross the cut by the lock gate and walk along the Thames path to the left. This is Shifford Cut, so it's not actually the River Thames which meanders around it away to my left. This is where the river swings away to the right and the cut goes through to the left. So both boats go down the cut and through the lock. Ten foot bridge. I presume it means ten foot high because it's only about two foot wide. The Thames is not very wide here. path is widening out a bit as I approach Tadpole Bridge. I've now reached Tadpole Bridge. Shifford Lock is three miles away. The view from Tadpole Bridge looking back towards Shifford. That is Tadpole Bridge from the Radcott side. The view from Tadpole Bridge, looking back towards Shifford, looking along the road at the trout at Tadpole Bridge.